I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a puppy falling into a pile of leaves. The first thing we want to do is draw some action leaves. So we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line. On the right, let's draw another curve line, curve line, curve line on the right. Now come over to the center part and now we're going to go left. Curve line, curve line, curve line. Then we're going to go curve line, curve line, curve line. And let's do curve line, curve line. Okay, now watch how I make my leaves. Starting over here on the right, I'm just going to draw curve line, curve line, over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Start again, curve line, curve line, over, curve line, curve line, connect. Come down, curve line, curve line, over, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line, over, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line, over, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line, over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Now come over here on the left, we're gonna do the same thing. Curve line, curve line, over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line, over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line, over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, over. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line. Curve line, curve line, connect. So you want everything to kind of look like it's falling or being uh, thrown up because right here you're going to put a dot and from that dot we're going to draw a curve line down, curve line up, connect. On the top part on the left we draw a big curve line up, down, connect. Right next to it, a big curve line out, in, connect. Come over here on the bottom, we're just going to draw a curve line out, up, connect on the left. Curve line out, up, connect on the right. Come over here and go one, two, three little straight lines. One, two, three little straight lines. Now come over here on the top. And draw a big curve line up, over, connect. And right here, we're going to draw a curve line, little wavy line in, connect. Come over here on this part and draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect. One, two, three. Now, draw one, two little straight lines, a flat oval. Straight line curve to the left, straight line curve to the right, okay? Now you want to make sure you have enough leaves. So now we're going to try another leaf and just draw curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, connect. Wherever you see a space, curve line, curve line. Connect, come down here on the bottom, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, connect. We all want them to look like they're moving. Curve line, curve line, connect, 
fill in these spaces. Now we're going to go ahead and put some animation lines on our puppy. Okay, and since I have this open, I'm going to fill in his nose. Okay, now let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I'm going to double color his ears, so I'm going to start with my brown, color this space, and my tail. Brown. Then with my black, I'm going to color over that. So he's got a two-toned look about him. He's got very lightly colored the, brown, the black over the brown. Then I've got all these leaves. The first thing I'm going to do, start out with my yellow and just put some lines of color on all of the leaves. Just one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, because we're going to triple color. One, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, 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 two, one. And this gives us the beginning of our fall colors we're going to use to look like these leaves. Somebody spent all the time putting them in a pile, and now Puppy has crashed into them. Okay, so just going to put yellow as our first color. We always work light to dark. Next, take out an orange and just add two more lines of color. You can add little lines, one line, two lines. Doesn't matter if you go out a little bit, that's okay. The main thing is to get that color on there so that we can build up our fall season colors. I think I forgot the yellow up there. Okay, let me get my yeah, my oranges done. And go back to my yellow. Put some yellow on these guys. Okay. Then, red orange if you've got it. If you've got regular red, you can put some regular red. Just another line of color. Little lines of color all the way across. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. This is how you build up your layers of color. Okay, last thing. Take your brown and now go over all the colors on the leaves. You won't have to color very dark and you really won't have to color very much, but it does add that little hint of brown to your leaves so that you know the season is fall. All the way over. Keep going. Keep going. Now, some of you might want to add more leaves. That's up to you. Personally, I might draw all the dog puppy in the leaves all on day one and then day two or session two then I would start coloring okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here is my puppy and my leaves all colored in for some autumn fun okay bye bye